Are you guys into grilling? I am, and today's episode is super phenomenal for all of those who like to make burgers. Now, I'm already starting on my prep here. What we're going to be making today is a blended burger. Now, I have attended a National Restaurant Association trade show, restaurant trade show in Chicago in 2019. And one of the big topics that they were talking about is how restaurants can assist in providing better choices for the, for the guests, for the people who visit the restaurants, for all of us, you and I. And one of the big topics of discussion was to create a blended burger, which is a burger that provides a little bit more sustainability. Now, if you have heard of the James Beard pro uh, house in New York, so the James Beard project has, is it's in its fifth year of running the blended burger project. So it's a burger that has about between 20 and 30% of mushrooms that are cooked and blended right into the beef, creating a more sustainable burger. Now let me, allow me to read you some facts. So Americans eat 10 billion burgers annually. And if 30% of the beef in every burger was replaced with mushrooms, it would save as many emissions as taking 2.3 million cars off the road, conserve as much water as 2.6 million Americans use at home each year, and reduce agricultural land demand by an area larger than Maryland. So does that make you wanna start making a blended burger? Yes. So I created a version of this for actually for our family restaurant Speaks Clam Bar and I made a blended Marcella burger. And for this specific video, I created a Argentinian style burger with chimichurri aioli. Now, if you have never made chimichurri before, it's really very simple. All it is, it's some parsley, some oregano, some garlic, red white vinegar, and olive oil and salt and pepper all mixed together. I already have this mixed together. And to make our aioli, all we do is we take half a cup of mayo. And with this, I want you to judge however much you would like the chimichurri flavor to go into your aioli. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of the aioli right into my half a cup of mayo. And we're gonna mix this in. And this is going to be the sauce for our burger. So delicious and smells amazing. All right. So this is our chimichurri aioli. Now, if you like it to be a little bit stronger, go for it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our very flavorful mushroom mixture. Now, as I mentioned, this is the Argentine style burger. Now, I was in Argentina in 2001, and Argentina is huge on the very high quality meat. So, uh, but also they are famous for their wines, and one of the red wines that comes from Argentina is a Malbec. So we're going to be flavoring our burger and our mushroom mixture actually with the Malbec. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so here we go. To our frying pan, we add a little bit of the olive oil. We put in half of our onion and we just chopped. Don't worry about how it's chopped because all of this, this mixture that we're making here, it's going to go right into the food processor. And we'll put a package of mushrooms. So this is about 10 ounces or anywhere between eight and 10 ounces of mushrooms per pound of beef. We're gonna to toss this. Next, I'm gonna add a couple of um, garlic cloves. Just gonna chop them roughly so that the garlic flavor really redistributes. And we're gonna add some fresh thyme. 
right in there. It's a little trick to take in the leaves off the thyme. Right, slides right down. And then we can put the tops in whole. So now we're just going to saute this for about, let's say about eight to 10 minutes. And we're going to season this with some salt and then some pepper, or if you want, if you know me, you know that I love the Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute. So I'm going to add a little bit of that in here and we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes. Okay, so it's been about six, seven, eight minutes, and these mushrooms are looking amazing, and they smell, oh, the smell is out of this world. So to give it a little bit of Argentinian style, we're adding a glass, not a glass, I'm drinking a glass. We're adding a quarter cup of this wine right into the mushrooms, and we're gonna let that cook for just a minute, just so that the alcohol cooks out. And then as soon as this is ready to go, we're going to transfer it to the food processor. So it's been about a minute or so, and our wine is sufficiently cooked down because we want to be able to serve these burgers to our kids, right? And we're transferring this whole mushroom mixture right into the food processor. And now I'm gonna share another little ingredient with you that I add to this mushroom mixture and it is fresh pecans just to give it that extra nutty that extra umami flavor just just gonna take things to a whole different level so I have about a quarter cup of pecans that's going in here and now we're going to process Throughout this, what you want to do is take the top off and scrape it down. Oh my God, this is like my dream mixture. Mushrooms and onions and garlic and thyme and wine. Oh. All right, so we have our mushroom mixture ready. We got it to the consistency of chopped meat. So now we're just going to add this right to the burger. I'm gonna mix everything together and make our patties. Now there is a point where you will have to get in there with your bare hands. I personally don't like to get in there with my bare hands, so I get a pair of kitchen gloves. Mix it nice and well. So for these burgers, you don't even have to have a fancy grill. I'm just using my little griddle pan here. I just flipped it open. And what I'm doing is I am putting a little bit of olive oil on here. And I'm using my little basting brush to make sure that the oil is spread out nice and even. Okay. Just to provide it with a nice surface. So if you want, you can toast your buns. So for this burger, if depending if you go low carb or full on high carb. So if you're going full on high carb, I recommend using the brioche buns. They just add really nice flavor. So as I'm putting the burger on, I'm just kind of pressing it in a little bit, just because I made them just a little bit too high. So I'm gonna cook a couple of these burgers here. They don't take long at all because about a third of this burger is already cooked, if you think about it. And I'm gonna toast these buns. Just a little bit. I'm curious if, if you toast your buns or not. Everybody's different. I like to toast my buns in the sun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, toasted buns. That's the image you want to erase out of your head. 
But it's summertime and I'm in Florida. Of course we want to toast our buns, everything in the front and the back and yeah. Crickets. <laughs> and I'm getting flushed. I don't know whether that's from the heat. I'll just call it to the heat coming from the I will save those burgers for later. So, I'm, I'm, you know, that statistics was so interesting that, that the average Americans eat 10, on average, 10 billion burgers a year. That is incredible. So, I really do encourage you to experiment with your burgers so that you do use less beef. These taste amazing. So, not only are we helping the environment, we're actually adding so much more flavor into the plain regular beef burgers. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Why wouldn't you want to add that extra umami flavor to your burgers? Oh, these are starting to smell unbelievable. I'm rushing it, I'm rushing it. I can't, I just, I just, I have no patience. I have to have patience, have patience. So we have our perfectly toasted buns and we're going to put some of this amazing chimichurri aioli right on here. This is what's going to give this burger so much flavor on top of everything else. This is just like bursting with flavor. Our burgers are finished. Yum, these are so, so juicy. And then we can put our tomatoes on top. Look how pretty. And our lettuce. Have to make it Instagram worthy, right? Oh, I'm curious if you actually take photos of your food and post them on Instagram. I would love to see your comments on that. And voila. This is our sustainable blended mushroom burger with chimichurri aioli. All right, so let's cut this baby in half so that you can see the texture on the inside. Now, I know that y'all are watching and you're loving this video and I'm sure you're gonna give it a like and a love and subscribe to the channel. Look at this, so juicy. If you think that you're losing the juiciness, you're not losing anything. All you're gaining is better environment and a more delicious burger, which is important. I invite you to live a deliciously healthy life. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. I'm done talking.